the respective genes, how they are dependent on each other. And then you can see the p-values, q-values, and tendency. And here it appears co-occurrence tendency. Then you can also, in this case, select uh, what kind of like exclusivity you want to see in then go for plots and in plot you could go for different types of plots and these are the examples you can change the x axis y axis depending on what kind of data plots you want and then you can go for individual genes also and click on it you will see the mutations and its location which is here in the figure and then mutation type, whether it is missions, truncating, infram, splice, fusion, what, what is happening. And then you can see more details about each mutations, whether it is insertion, deletion, and what is the allele frequency, many more things you can see here for each and every gene. Now you can go for survival analysis. In survival analysis, you can go for KM plot, and then you can also select the overall p-values for survival, or you can go for individual impact for each gene, and then go for each gene one by one also. Next part is after survival, you can also go for further detail, the clinical relevance of these genes and the samples what you have it here then what kind of test has been performed and what is the p value what is the q value then and further you go for for example you select different genes and go for their further details clinical relevance in terms and the genomic alterations they are mutated and what is their phenotypic rele relevance followed by the their presence in biological pathways. And here, this is the highest significance pathway in this selected genes. And its impact, overall impact, goes to proliferation, cell survival, translation, which you can see here, these three biological functions. But the genes which are most affected are KIT, FLT3, then PTPN11, KERAS, and RAS.